if you don't mind, I would like to play one little piece to honor Hassan. He's devoted himself as a citizen of Canada to really furthering its interests, both culturally, economically, and politically. Hassan Khosrowshahi and his wife Nas arrived in Canada in 1981. They knew no one in Canada, but had ambition and principles. Lessons learned from their family's many successful businesses in Iran. We kept our word. If we said we are going to do something, we would do it, and we would expect the other party to do so. And generally speaking, that worked. Hassan is a man of very high integrity. And uh, that is a very valuable thing to have, especially if you're a banker looking at a customer. Hassan boldly embarked on a business he knew little about and barely existed in Canada at the time. We were setting up a home in Vancouver and I went to buy a TV and a video recorder and it was a terrible experience. I thought this business could be run much better. In 1982, Hassan Khosrowshahi opened the doors to the world's first future shop. First stall was on Broadway in Vancouver. It was just over 4,000 square feet, and everybody thought that I'm crazy. Over the next 10 years, Future Shop expanded, opening more than 100 locations and employing over 15,000 people across Canada. He did something nobody's ever done before, and in marching that concept across the country, he totally transformed the way Canadians buy consumer electronics. My business motto is hard work, integrity, build a first-rate team, and motivate them, and think long-term. But Future Shop was only part of the story. Through his company, Westbuild, Hassan was also making major real estate investments in shopping malls and housing developments for more than 10,000 families. Risk is very important. I ran a very big, big business in Iran, and I wanted to replicate that in Canada. And that encouraged me to take a greater risk than a person would normally take. He built two cities from scratch, Burke Mountain and Westwood Plateau and he's in the process of building a third. When they build in this community, they're also really seeking to support families, to create family-centered, really inclusive, really environmentally sensitive uh, places for people to live and thrive. Hassan is a giving person. He cares about the places he lives. He gives back. And I think that's part of their value system, and, and we see them show up all the time for us and, and for the community as a whole. In 2001, Hassan sold Future Shop, then branched out again. Working with his son, Bazad, he purchased and privatized a drug royalty company, renamed it DRI Capital, and acquired more than $2 billion of royalties from some of the world's biggest pharmaceutical companies. Signaling its growth, DRI Healthcare listed on the TSX last year. In 2007, alongside his daughter, Golnar, they established Reservoir Media, a music company listed on the NASDAQ exchange that now owns over 140,000 copyrights by a range of global superstars, from Joni Mitchell to Migos. What I am proudest of is the work ethic of my children and the fact that they have willingly joined the business and taken up responsibilities. What a family. Amazing family of merchants. That's Hassan, Nazi, Bazad, and Goldberg. A lot of people would say his legacy is the businesses he's built. I think Hassan's legacy is, is his family. He stays out of the limelight, so most people don't know this, but I'm pretty sure that if there wasn't for Hassan and his wife Nazi, there wouldn't be a Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. Passionate supporters of the arts, it came as no surprise when the Kosher Shahis were approached by one of the most famous musicians in the world and an old friend. I went to Hassan and Nas for help for Silk Road. Yo-Yo Ma's vision was to create a global collective of musicians that performs, develops training programs, and commissions new works from composers and arrangers all over the world. 
And they said, of course, we'll help you. But we want to introduce you to our daughter. And Golnar shows the same steady hand, clear thinking, full of fun, full of empathy, but always clear-headed. I think Mr. K is a true visionary and a true example of what a leader should be. He came to Canada. He knew no one. He had no contacts. And look where he is now. Uh, that's a massive accomplishment in anybody's books. There's no question about the accomplishments of which we're celebrating tonight. But for me, it's the inner cultivation of Naz and Hassan and their family members that impressed me the most. And that cultivation is expressed in the outside world in terms of his community service, working for goals that are larger than himself. Please welcome Hassan Khosrowshahi, inductee as Companion to the Order of the Canadian Business Hall of Fame. <laughs>